Today we have people from all over the world make a special trip to my bookstore here in Utah, which is about six hours north from Las Vegas and about 10 hours northeast of Los Angeles. And this is what you'll see if you take a visit to my bookstore. Follow me, let's take a look. Okay, the first thing you notice when you walk in is is like, where are you? Is it a bookstore? Is it a museum? Well, it's kind of both. About half of the items are for sale and about half are part of my permanent collection. And we want there to be something at every price range so that everybody feels like they can, uh, you know, have fun. And so we have all of our merchandise and cool things. I mean, check this out. I mean, if you come here, that's the type of stuff you can pick up. Well, just follow me and uh, I'm gonna show you several things. First, when you walk in, we have our uh, display case that changes every few weeks and you never know what you are going to see. Whether it's a sword that belonged to Abraham Lincoln or a document signed by John Hancock, you never know. And if, let's take a look at the other side. The other side is pop culture. So here we're celebrating pop culture Check out, that is an original Stormtrooper helmet. Uh, the original shooting script from Star Wars 1976, The Adventures of Luke Starkiller. And then we have first editions of J.R.R. Tolkien signed by the author himself. And then we have a whole section here on manga. This has been something new that we've added, but everybody loves it when they come in. And over on this wall, this is where you can get inexpensive copies of the classics. And so price points for everybody. And if you take a look on the other side, up here, this wall, these are actual movie props. That Three Musketeer outfit belonged to John Malkovich from Man in the Iron Mask. I have actually worn that. Exact same size, and I've worn the boots too. And over here we have Lucy's dress from Chronicles of Narnia, Prince Caspian, and the White Witch's sword. So that's really cool. And behind glass, because they're more valuable, we have just all of the classics, especially from the 19th and 20th centuries. Everything from Don Quixote, Three Musketeers, Les Miserables, um... We have Tolstoy, we have Dracula, Steinbeck, East of Eden, Diary of Anne Frank, you name it, you're going to find all of the classics here. Now, let's just keep going because there, there is a lot to see. We even have this vintage cash register that actually works. It's from 1899, in fact, watch this. Now, you're not going to see that in just any place. Um, okay, here are our, is, we've recreated this village feel. So when you walk in, and the brick floor is 200-year-old brick from France. That was found in an old barn. Now, our first little shop is through the looking glass. This is our children's literature room. Let's go take a look inside. And before we walk inside, I wanted a really special door to walk through. And I found a collection of magic lantern slides of Alice in Wonderland. And I had them incorporated into this stained glass window. And you can see the entire story. This is from about the 1880s. Now I'm going to go ahead and open the door walk in and we have an original Alice going down the rabbit hole painting. And then throughout the room, there will be early editions of all of the classics from Cat in the Hat to Lewis Carroll, Alice in Wonderland, of course, Mother Goose, and 
101 Dalmatians, Mary Poppins, Robin Hood, etc. So let's keep going. Lots more to see. Now we have, for uh, all of the movie fans who come here, we have an at the movies room where we have actual movie props from some of the most notable movies that you will be familiar with. Thor, The Avengers, Return of the Jedi, Harry Potter, Lord of the Rings, Hunger Games, Indiana Jones, The Matrix, Titanic. So I'm always looking for new things. Spider-Man I see over there. So it's a fun, fun room to come and visit. And we are in the Mountain West. And so we have a room that is dedicated to uh, Western Americana, Utah history which is in this room. And then directly across from it is a Bible shop, William Tyndale Bible shop. We have Bibles and religious texts from the past six centuries. And if you come in and take a look, these, I mean, here is a handwritten page from the Bible from 1250 AD in Paris. So, so many cool books, Bibles. I've done many videos on the individual items in here, but, I mean, you have a Greek parchment right here that is from almost 2,000 years ago. And, like I said, these are antiquities. These are Babylonian cylinders from almost 4,000 years ago. So, you never know what you're going to find here. So that this is kind of the museum aspect of the bookstore. And then now we're going to back to my office or the area where I hang out. And you can see typically there's a little chain across it and you can peek in, but you get a special invitation. But before we walk in, what is this door? Still has the creep. This is a castle door from 400 years ago. That is James I in Anne of Denmark, which dates this door 1603 to 1625. St. George slaying the dragon, he's the patron saint of England, or Great Britain. And you have the ravens that you see at the Tower of London. So this is just a very cool door. I had the door before I had this particular location. So I had it, uh, the frame built around it. Now step in and you will see I mean, just look around. Um, so many original paint. All of the paintings back here are original. Oh, don't go past this desk yet. This is literally the desk where Charles Dickens wrote A Tale of Two Cities. This is his desk from his office all the year round that he started in 1859. And then we have first editions of all of the Dickens books. And one of the highlights in our museum slash bookstore. Now, if you look, uh, I commissioned the art that is back here and it's always a literary theme. We have Bram Stoker writing Dracula. We have uh, Dante, Tolkien. Well, and we have a uh, Salem witch trial right over here. And then a large painting of Shakespeare. I'll do a separate video on this, but this is a vampire killing kit right in here. And then there is the reaping ball from Hunger Games. And then we have four vaults to keep the treasures. And um, this is the uh, back area where there are just tons of classics. That's uh, Joan of Arc up there. And just a lot of the really rare books. And I do separate videos telling uh, about the history of each of these books. And um, wow, and then you go to this wall, you have Houdini, Houdini's handcuffs. And some vintage Americana, a 1937 Coca-Cola sign. So you never know what's going to be in here. And just to give you an idea of the variety, on this one wall, um, you have the Canterbury Tales. You have a 200-year-old 
um, early piece of Americana. You have a ticket from the Hindenburg. Um, Anne Frank, you have a picture of Anne Frank, her diary, the hiding place, and this one is signed by her father, Otto Frank. And what bookstore would be complete without a secret room that you go in and what is it filled with? More books. So hopefully you have enjoyed this back room, literally a back room tour. So tell me in the comments what you'd like to see in the next video.